If the forms in your application are very long, chances are the end user might not be able to fill them in one go. You might need to collect some information, for example. In that case, a feature called Save as Draft is uh, very useful. Now, in this case, usually you have a form. Form has many attributes. Imagine a lengthy form. Uh, how we implement is by giving the user an option to either save or submit. If they are saving, we usually don't run any validations. Validations are not run. And then we save the data temporarily uh, by e either using some flag like maybe is draft could be a flag that we can set true or false or we can also use status as where besides submitted or processed approved rejected we can also have a status called draft but thereafter it is about displaying so finally the user should be able to clearly identify a record that is in draft versus the ones that submitted on the other hand for submit things go as usual we apply all the validations to make sure the data is correct. And then finally, we uh, update the data in our records, in our database, and then we show it the same place. So in this video, let me show you how you can implement the same in our systems. This is my service studio where I have a reactive web application. Let's start by creating an entity. I'll call this an issue. Issue can have things like Maybe title, a description, uh, category, uh, priority. Typically, these can come from other tables also, like you can create static entities for category and priority at least. And the last one, which is the important one, I'm creating a, a flag, is draft. And this is draft field, I can also choose a default value for it. Since it's Boolean, platform suggests me whether I want to set it true or false. I think by false, it means that uh, it's not draft. So let's do it. Thereafter, we'll just drag and drop to let the platform build our listing and details screen. Now, in your real scenario, you might require a handful of entities to be here, not the simple one as I created in one entity, but the concepts will remain same. So with this, I have a issue listing page where I have all the issues coming in and I have issue detail page. Now let's start modifying these one by one. So for issue listing page, we want to make modifications. So the query is here, get issues with platform built me automatically. In case I want to do some manipulations, I can do that. In my case, I don't mind displaying both uh, draft and non-draft uh, issues here in this list. So what I will do is perhaps maybe uh, for the title, I'll amend the title to display the uh, text draft if it's draft. There could be other ways of displaying it by putting additional columns or status and things like that. How is it done? Select the first uh, record of the table where the value is coming from this record. Now we are going to modify this by providing an if. So we'll use an if. Let me just bring it one line down so you can see what I'm doing. So if is a function that you can use. If the status or is draft this field is equals to true then so the yes part the title is title plus we're going to add the string append the string we can say draft so depending on use case uh, whatever you want to do you can do it here and then if it's not let's just bring the other one and close the a function looks okay save it okay so now for those issues which are in draft status it will display the word draft next to it and other ones which are usual normal submitted ones it will not display draft they will just appear clean with clean titles now with that let's go back to our uh, detail form as well so this is the case here if you explore uh, the save button logic already has uh, the necessary logic to save the record in our database uh although uh, we have to make some modifications now one by one we'll start cleaning it up first thing is we don't need a user to tell us whether it's draft or not so we'll get rid of this is draft option uh, second thing maybe the save button can be more like the submit because it's submitting the data although behind the scenes we should specifically tell that it's not draft so we'll set the value of that particular is draft flag to false even though you you might remember that i have set the default value of this to false but why take a chance 
So let's do it and then it will save the record. Uh, for the save, like save as draft, we will add another button. So let's bring it somewhere here. Rename this to save. So user can clearly understand which one is save, which one is not. And then inside we can implement. Before I go there, let me just show you one thing in submit. So in submit here, we are running the validations. So checking whether all the data is provided or not. Now it's up to you whether while saving also you want to run some validations or just want to continue without doing anything. So if it's save as draft, maybe let the user do anything that he likes, but do make sure that the important step is draft field. You should set the value of it to true this time. And it should be uh, mandatory it's because default value is, if you don't set it, default value is false and it will set it to false. Once you do this, thereafter you can save the record by uh, using the create read uh, CRUD operations that are available in the entity. The source will be the same that is bound to the form. And if you want to display any message or anything, or you want to react to any listing page, you can do so. But I think in my scenario, uh, I'm thinking it's a long, fa long form and user can save it after a while and he stays on the same form. So I'm not redirecting him. With this, I think things should be okay. Let's publish the application and try it out. So while it's publishing, as I was saying, there could be multiple ways in which you can implement save as draft. Some people even implement temporary tables where draft information can go. Other people can use a status static entity where draft is one of the status. And like in my case, I use a flag in the main entity itself. So different ways, but it's the same concept where you manipulate some values to identify a draft record from a normal record. Almost there. Let's launch it to test. So our issue listing page, let's create a new issue. How about issue one? Description, I'm just leaving something to try it out. I've not made anything mandatory. So if I click on save, nothing happens. I'm still on the same screen, which means that I can continue working on. Maybe I'm a user who likes to save uh, to make sure data is not lost. But while doing this, let me go back and show you what happened behind the scenes. My record, the issue one is actually saved and it's, uh, it's using the if condition there to display that this is a draft. If I go back, open it again. And now if I click on submit, is submitted and the word draft is removed from the issue name. And that's how you implement save as draft in our systems. Keep watching our videos. Thanks.